Hi Libra, this is your September 30th to October 6th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love entering your life. In the second spread, we'll check in with those of you who are already involved with somebody. Spread number three will be love from the past. In the fourth spread, we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And uh, the fifth, the final spread will be what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, comment and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is a new love this week, Libra. And uh, by the way, if you're celebrating your birthday <laughs> this week, then happy birthday. I hope you have a fantastic year ahead of you. Anyway, so this first spread is new love entering your life this week. We got the three of ones, clarified by the hangman. Uh, we have uh, the page of pentacles. We have the seven of ones, clarified by the four of ones. In the potential outcome, uh, we have uh, the empress with the ace of pentacles and the nine of cups. And we also have the lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Gemini, uh, Taurus, maybe another Libra, or absolutely any zodiac sign. All right, so here's what's going on, Libra. This week, this person will have an epiphany or a realization that they need to pursue you. They need to get the show on the road with you and they're going to be like very very decisive about it especially if you got other people interested in you if you don't have other people interested in you doesn't matter <laughs> as long as as long as you give it a green light all right so yeah the whole all of those cards in the main spread on the left those five cards the three cards that came out and the two clarifiers they're talking about one thing and one thing only this person is realizing or making up their mind to pursue you to offer you a commitment all right and they're gonna fight for it they're gonna fight for it and that seven of ones in the middle i was a little concerned about that seven of ones so as i was clarifying it i simply asked what is it all about and the four of ones showed up so the seven of ones in this case this is them Fighting for your full and undivided attention, uh, fighting of competition if there's other people interested in you, right? Defending the idea, the notion that uh, you should spend the rest of uh, your lives together. <laughs> They're fighting for that 401s together with you. The 401s is a kind of a commitment to marriage. Uh, one of those cards in the tarot deck. Um, perhaps if you're going somewhere together with this person together, right? Maybe you're going to some kind of a uh, event, and uh, they're gonna be guarding you, <laughs> so nobody else talks to you, or something like that. Perhaps with the four of ones, you're going to some kind of a event, right? The four of ones could be a card of a wedding or a card of uh, maybe some kind of a family-oriented event. But perhaps it's not just family members, uh, friends are also invited, so it could be like a baby shower, a housewarming party, or something like that. So perhaps those two cards is just an event, and this person is letting everybody know, all other suitors at that event, that uh, uh, they are, you know, <laughs> you are together, you know. Okay, but we actually start with the three of ones, right? The first card I came out is the three of ones, and then that four of ones showed up. So the three of ones is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and after that there is no turning back because it's final. And I think that's what's going on in this person's mind, in their inside their head. The hangman clarifying it could simply be a Pisces you're dealing with. The hangman could be a card of a sacrifice. Maybe this person is getting ready to sacrifice something. Um, yeah. Uh, it could be a death of an ego. Uh, the hangman could also be a card of like a revelation, a light bulb moment. Okay, and uh, the page of pentacles, they're going to make a move with that page of pentacles. It's just a page, but uh, the page of pentacles is the most serious page out of all four pages, right? Um, it could be tickets. It could be them offering to you, uh, offering to take you to that event if you're going to some kind of an event with that four on ones. But uh, the Page of Pentacles, this is them, you know, making steps in the right direction, I guess. And that Page of Pentacles will, may later become that Ace of Pentacles in the middle of the potential outcome. All right. Um, the Lovers on the bottom of the deck could be a Gemini you're dealing with. The Lovers is a card of a choice. All right. So perhaps, like I said, for some of you, if you're dealing with uh, multiple people, you may have to have a choice. You may have to choose between this person and others and somebody else. <laughs> The lovers, in my opinion, though, is the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. All right? It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of a twin flame connection, if you believe in twin flames. And uh, it could be the lover in your life. Yeah, maybe this person is waking up in the middle of the night and they're realizing that you're the love of their life. 
and that that kind of launches everything else. <laughs> so in the potential outcome we have uh, the Empress, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. The Empress is actually um, one of your major Arcana cards, Libra. Okay, uh, you shared with Taurus, but since this is your reading, I assume that's you. And besides that, if you forget for a second, it's one of your major Arcana cards. Uh, the Empress is a card of a wife figure, spouse figure, significant other figure. It's a card of somebody who is loved and cherished. All right, it's also yeah, it's a, it's a great card to have regardless because it's one of the most positive cards in the deck. The Ace of Pentacles in the middle. Yeah, that Page of Pentacles becomes the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity, once in a lifetime opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles sometimes comes through as a marriage proposal card. The Nine of Cups right next to the deck is a card of a satisfaction and fulfillment, and it's also a card of a wish come true. All right, so yeah, looks like a very interesting <laughs> situation. Very interesting reading, Libra. All right, really happy for you. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship or married, uh, Libra, the spread is for you. We have the Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of uh, Seven of Swords, rather. Uh, we have the Devil, um, the Four of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is a bit of a strange reading to have for uh, the couple's reading, because it has something to do with work. <laughs> Perhaps uh, both of you got jobs, but one of you wants to ditch work and maybe take some time off, and uh, the other person is going to say no, right? <laughs> That's the first thing I thought of, to be honest with you, all right? Um, yeah, there's some kind of a tempting offer that has to do with work, but uh, the tempting offer is not really honest. And uh, whoever is on the receiving side, on the receiving end of this offer, they're going to say no, all right? Yeah, that's that's how it's... That's how it feels. We start with the Eight of Pentacles, which is a card of work, business, and finances. The devil right next to it is a card of um, temptation, right? Temptation. Um, the uh, Seven of Swords, I find the Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords is a card of dishonesty, right? And uh, the Four of Cups right next to the deck is a card of a rejection. Um, the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, um, it's a card of finances, it's a card of a choice, it's a card of a balance, equal give and take, what have you. One of you could uh, get um, a very dishonest offer that has to do with work, right? And uh, they're going to say no. And uh, by very dishonest offer, somebody may offer, somebody will offer a bribe. I'm just, yeah, somebody may offer a bribe for some information or what have you. I know it's now it sounds kind of like the conspiracy theory. <laughs> but the, the main point is that the Four of Cups came out uh, last, which is a card of a rejection. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Libra, this week. Uh, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be uh, the most recent next. We have uh, the Queen of Swords, clarified by Strength. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords. Clarified by the Ace of Cups, and uh, we also have the Fool on the bottom of the deck. Um, as you can probably see, we have the King and the Queen of Swords. <laughs> um, I'm not sure who's going to be reaching out to whom, though. Because right? the Queen of Swords showed up first, and uh, the Knight of Pentacles followed up. So the Knight of Pentacles is the offer. The Knight of Pentacles could be money. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles could be something long-term. All right? And uh, then, at the end, the King of Swords showed up. So, Libra, if you feel like reaching out to um, a fellow air sign, then don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy. Um, or uh, the King of Swords will reach out to you. All right? I don't know. I don't know. Because, uh, like I said, the Queen of Swords showed up first. All right? Uh, and, uh, by the way, the Queen of Swords is qualified by strength. Strength could be a card of courage. Courage to do this, to make this move, to make this offer, right? Strength is also a card of pure raw passion. It's a card of loyalty. And uh, the King of Swords themselves is qualified by the Ace of Cups, which is true, genuine, authentic love. The Fool on the bottom of the deck, as a matter of fact, is the only card that kind of hints on uh, the fact that this is somebody from your past. Because the Fool could be interpreted multiple ways, and one way to interpret the Fool is a card of second chances. Right, Let, letting go of what happened in the past and giving it another shot, starting from a clean slate. So yeah, uh, this looks good. This looks good. Um, I think the two of you can definitely work things out. All right, cool. 
Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances uh, this week, Libra. We have the Nine of Wands clarified by the Knight of Wands. Uh, we have the Two of Pentacles, then we have the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, and we also have the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Well, you know what terms come to mind when I look at these cards, Libra? Short-term gains and long-term gains. That's what I see here. And I think the answer for you this week is going to be a long-term gains. Whatever that means in your case. Right? Maybe you have a, an investment opportunity to make money real quick. Or you have an investment opportunity to make money over a long term. Right? So I think long term is most likely um, the, the safer bet. This time it's definitely safer. <laughs> right? Because you're dealing with the... The Knight of Wands on the left and the Knight of Pentacles on the right. Could be dealing with two different people, two different companies, two different organizations. Or the Knight of Wands is like really hot, like some kind of a hot offer that's on the table, hot opportunity, short term, like right now. Let's do this right now and make the money right now. Right? And uh, the Knight of Pentacles all so the way to your right is the opposite. The Knight of Pentacles talks about long term, something that takes longer. And uh, the difference here is that the Knight of Wands is clarifying the Nine of Wands and uh, the Knight of Pentacles is clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands is a card of a wounded warrior, but uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. Okay, that's the difference. <laughs> that's, how, that's why I made this uh, conclusion that something long-term is going to be better for you this week when you have to make a decision. And you do have a decision coming up, right? The Two of Pentacles... And the Seven of Cups, uh, both of those two cards having to, are talking about having to make a choice. So yeah, make your decisions based on long term. You don't have to if you don't want to, um, Libra, right? But uh, these are, this is what I see on the table. I hope all of this makes sense. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Libra. We have the Tower, the Two of Swords, the Five of Wands, and uh, the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. They could, it could be directly or indirectly related to you, Libra. Um, you got this Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck and there's some kind of a fight. Some kind of a... yeah? Fight? <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's between you and this Queen of Cups or like I said, maybe it's indirectly related to you. This uh, Queen of Cups could be starting a fight with somebody. Okay? And uh, it's like somebody is facing a crossroads, a choice, and they're choosing to fight, or they're choosing to continue some kind of a fight or drama. All right? Yeah, that's what's happening. Uh, especially with the Two of Swords and uh, the Five of Wands. The Two of Swords is that crossroads card, right? The Two of Swords could also be um, a card of like somebody offering peace, because the Two of Swords uh, could be interpreted as a card of an armistice or a ceasefire or peace. Right? But uh, the last card that came out is the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card of a competition, fight, drama, and uh, that type of energy. And uh, the, the Queen of Cups is somehow a part of this. Alright? Yeah? Uh, Libra, let me know how this plays out for you. But um, um, yeah, I know it's your birthday season, <laughs> and I'm not a big fan ending readings with uh, spreads like this, but uh, that's what I have for you, Libra. Yeah? Hopefully this can be avoided. Hopefully, the, and if it's not directly related to you, then um, it'll just, maybe you could be, you could try to be like the uh, peacemaker, but uh, I think the fight will continue. Okay, Libra, so yeah, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. Happy birthday to those of you celebrating one more time. And other than that, Libra, have an amazing week.